With 3M stainless steel crowns, you're on the fast track to clinical. The procedure requires two main products, 3M stainless steel crowns and Reliax Luding Plus Resin Modified Glass Ionomer Cement or KTEX M Radio Opaque Glass Ionomer Luding Cement. This clinical case shows the treatment of primary upper molar 54 with the 3M stainless steel crown. In this case, the three-year-old child presented with a carious defect. Prior to starting the procedure, make sure to have all necessary materials and instruments handy on your tray. Then place a rubber dam to ensure a clean, dry environment and good visibility. In this case, the dentist determined that pulp therapy was necessary. When faced with that situation, reduce the occlusal surface and open the pulp chamber with a round diamond burr. Then remove the inflamed pulp. If bleeding occurs, use a hemostatic agent to control it. Then seal the pulp. After sealing the pulp, perform tangential prep with a diamond burr to prepare for the stainless steel crown. Identify the right 3M stainless steel crown size by measuring the mesial distal tooth diameter with a caliper. If needed, the crown can be trimmed. It may also be crimped for optimal adaptation. Prior to placing the crown, check its fit on the tooth preparation. Use a probe to ensure that there is no gap between the crown and the tooth prep. For cementation, mix KTEX M glass ionomer looting cement according to the instructions for use. Fill the crown with cement. Then dry the tooth preparation with gauze and place the crown. If the child cannot bite down, Use a band setter to seat and drive the crown down. Finally, remove excess cement and the restoration is completed. The result is a quick and simple yet long-lasting restoration of Tooth 54 with a 3M stainless steel crown.